What's going on guys? My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to create our very first program with Python. Alright guys, in the last couple of videos, we installed Python, we installed Git Bash, and we installed our Sublime Text Editor. In this video, we're going to create our very first Python program. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've opened up the Sublime Text Editor. It's just a, an empty file here. And the first thing you want to do is go over to View. If this is the first time you've ever used Sublime, click on Syntax, and then come down here and just select Python. That just tells Sublime that we're going to be using Python. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull up just a Windows sort of directory menu. And I'm in our C drive. You can put this anywhere. I'm going to right click and create a new folder. And let's just call this Python stuff. And this is where we want to save all of our Python programs from here on out. It doesn't really matter where on your computer you save them. We just like to keep them all in one place if you're going to do a certain project or something like we're doing right now. In this video, we're going to create the very most basic Python program, the most basic any program. It doesn't matter what programming language you're using or learning. Everybody does this program as their first program. This is the first bit of code that anybody ever writes. And that's just we want to print the words hello world up onto the screen, right? So if you've learned another programming language, you've done this. If you've read another programming language book or something, you've done this. If you've taken a course in college, this is the first thing you do on day one. So how do we do this? Well, in Python, we want to print the thing to the screen. So we just call print. And then we print as a function, we can pass in an argument. And in our case, the argument is whatever we want to appear on the screen. So we want hello world to appear on the screen. So we just type that in. And that's it. So a lot of programming languages have sort of um, syntax that you have to put at the end of each line of code, like for instance, a colon or a semicolon, if you're doing like JavaScript, PHP, you have to put like a closing tag, or something like that. Not so with Python. With Python, this is all we have to do. So now we can come over here and click File, and we need to save this. And let's click Save As, and I want to navigate to that directory we just created. So that was what we called it Python stuff. So I'm going to double click here. And you can see we want to call this something I'm just going to call it hello. And you can see right now since we changed the syntax earlier, it already knows to save this as a dot py file. So all Python programs, all Python code ends in dot py the file. So we could just do that, click Save. All right, so you can see up here now it says it's located in C Python stuff, hello.py. Now, we can open up our git bash terminal that we downloaded. And to do that, I'm just going to the Windows start menu. It's on my other monitor, you can't see it. There's a little search bar at the bottom, I just typed in git git, and the git bash thing pops right up. And let me pull this over. And do a little resizing here. So this is our, our terminal. The first thing we need to do is navigate to that directory where we saved this file. And so to do that, I'm going to use the CD command that stands for change directory. And we want to change it to the C drive. And we call this Python stuff, right? So when we do that, we can see right up here, it shows yes, we're in Python stuff. And notice right here, it says flat planet at flat planet PC. This is the name of my computer, my computer is named flat planet. I don't think the world is flat. I just find it hilarious that some people do. So I name my computer that whatever your computer is named, whatever username you're using to log into Windows, that'll probably show up there. So now we can type ls to list the stuff in this directory. And we can see sure enough, there's that file hello.py that we just created. So I'm going to clear the screen here. So to run a file, a Python file, a Python program is pretty simple, you just type in Python, and then the name of the file. So ours is hello.py. And when we do that, boom, it prints out onto the screen, hello world. So congratulations, you've created your very first Python program, you've run your very first Python program, I'm sure, this is a very lame program. And they're going to get a lot harder as we move on and a lot more interesting. But this is the rite of passage. This is what everybody does as their very first program in any computer programming language. 
So that's very cool. If you're on a Mac, you might have to type in Python 3 and then hello.py. Uh, I can't do that here because I'm on a Windows computer and um, that's just how that goes. If you ran Python hello.py and you got an error of some sort, chances are you didn't install Python correctly. Remember when we installed it, on the very first screen that pops up, there's a little check bar box that you have to check that says add Python to path. That's what makes it runnable from where we are right here. So if you didn't check that little box, you're likely gonna have trouble running this. Also, if you have run another Python editor, like PyCharms, you may have problems running this. Uh, PyCharm, PyCharms, I've, I've seen a lot in the past, students have problems with it, that uh, it changes the defaults on your computer, the path defaults. And so you may have trouble uh, running this from the command line if you're if you previously used PyCharm. So you're just gonna have to Google how to fix that. I, I can't really help you. I don't have PyCharms on my computer. But if you Google that, I'm sure you'll find some help. What else? If you have trouble running the program, you can type Python dash capital V. And you see right here, it shows I have version 3.6.5 running. Uh, this tells us that it should work. If you get a version, it means it's working. If you don't get a version, that means that your computer can't locate Python, which likely means you didn't check that little box when you installed Python to add it to path. So you'll have to go back and do that. So that's all for this video. Let me take real quick a look at our code. One line of code, very, very simple. It's one of the great things about Python. It's just so easy to use and programs are, you know, easy to understand. I mean, if you didn't know a single thing about computer programming or Python, you could likely figure out what this program is supposed to do, right? That's one of the nice things about Python. It's very readable from a sort of English grammar point, point of view. There's not a whole lot of weird symbols and uh, weird computer science things that are tricky. It's just very, uh, very conversational almost in nature, which makes it not just easy to learn, but a lot of fun to use. So in the next video, we're going to dive in and start to learn some more advanced uh, still beginner stuff, but more more complicated than this simple Hello World program. And it should be a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com, uh, where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all of my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.